Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Actually, there are four knives here. Kaiser sent me a gigantic package. Uh, I've decided to split it up into two videos because it's just, it's a lot. I have no idea what's in here. It's likely new products. Thanks so much to Kaiser for sending these in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. These will all, of course, be linked right down in the description. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Something I find interesting is that a, a few of these boxes are thicker than other boxes. I, I don't know if that's always been the case. Uh, maybe they changed it to house like different dimensions of knives, but... I, I don't know why that would be other than the knife just obviously being bigger. Invictus by Damned Designs. Really? We have a uh, collaboration between Damned Designs and... Wait a minute. No, that's actually... I'm sorry. I, I am familiar with Damned Designs. I was thinking of somebody else, but that makes more sense. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, it's been a while since I've seen this one. <laughs> okay, cool. I think this is probably my favorite profile from Damned Designs. Wow. Blast from the past. Um, I haven't seen this knife in a couple of years at least, but this is a really cool design and works very well. We actually have that metallic, it's like a, a penny being launched at a pile of pennies. It has that sort of metallic tink. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, there's the Damn Designs logo. We have the Invictus and then we have 154CM. Fantastic. Nice wide handle profile. And look at that, a pocket clip that is not absolutely ridiculous and well over the 50% line, in fact, way under. Uh, great slicing profile, just really cool, and a nice way to do a decorative captive pivot. This is a good design, and even, you know, reviewing this model years ago, when it was through, I don't know who the OEM was that worked with Dam Designs, I liked it then. In fact, they, they used to do like a bajillion different blade shapes of this knife, but that's cool. That's a nice one to see, and it's probably not horrifically expensive. I'll point out, it does have nested liners, and with the combination of 154CM, it's probably not a budget knife, but it's also not, it's also probably not like a ridiculously expensive knife. But hey, you know what? Maybe I'll be surprised. What do we, I'll, I like to do these by weight. This one feels the heaviest. Yeah, let's do, let's go with this one. So what do we have here? The Justice Ozo N690 blade. Okay. I feel like that sounds kind of familiar. Oh, we have a little bit of a special pouch here. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, that's a little, wow, that's actually quite a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, that's a, <laughs> that's a robust fellow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that, especially the flipper tab. Um, that has a really nice flipping action. I like that the Justice is a cool name. Um, I don't like that they print it right on the blade, but okay, right. Uh, cool backspacer. Looks like, boy. Is it a steel backspacer? Yeah, I think so. Cool pocket clip. It's got, we got a glass breaker on the back and ambi mounting position. So that's good. Yeah, you know what? That's a cool knife. Also with N690, N690 is one of those sales you sometimes see it in budget territory, sometimes slightly above, uh, much like you know 154CM and VG10. We see those a lot in the teeter-tottery zones. Um, but yeah, uh, super duper stainless, that's for sure. Nice profile, very comfortable, thanks to a pocket clip that is not... In fact, that's almost perfect as far as like what I look for in a clip. Down and slight swoop with a spoon tip. That's cool. I like that. Okay, so the Justice. There we go. And we're going to do this one. The third heavis is also... Uh, sorry about that, doorbell. That's about the only thing I'll allow to interrupt my recording because it could be a knife and I need to sign for it. Okay, so we have the same thing but in red, which is also... Pretty cool. That's a nice red too. A nice deep red micarta. Just, just real nice. We don't see that enough. That's uh, it does look like, looks like red denim. Um, really like this. Really like the overall profile of that one. And that's on the bigger side. I bet that's at least eight and a half inches. We'll we'll check the measurements here in just a sec. And then finally, is this? This is also so so my my you know internal system for deciding how much something is going to weigh is just faulty. What's different about this guy? So we have the Justice again. 
but in a darker? Yeah, okay, so it's a darker blue. All right, well, there's not a whole lot different here, right? It's just a different color, but definitely some cool knives, definitely some knives on the larger side. I feel like we don't see that enough this anymore. This, this end of the knife world certainly seems to be more catered towards knives on the smaller side. That's the way I feel anyway. Maybe it's just the stuff that I handle, but it seems like that. Overall length of this guy, yeah, eight and a half inches on the dot. I might not be able to tell how much they weigh, but I feel like I've got a pretty good sense of how long they are. The blade length is three and three quarter inches. Cutting edge is three point no. Boy, is it almost exactly the same. Now, the blade length is longer than I thought. Just a touch more than 3.75. This is almost exactly on 3.75. That's a, that's a lot of blade there. That's a good looking straightforward profile. Um, but I like that it's on the larger side. That's cool. And then this guy here, overall length, coming in at eight inches blade length, roughly three and a half to the center of the scale right here. Cutting edge also just about three and a half just because of the curvature and how it comes up. So also really good ratios there. Let's um, weigh them. I'm gonna, I am gonna weigh those other two to see if there's a difference. <laughs> I wanna see if I'm onto something there. So this guy comes in at 3.88 ounces, not terrible. I mean, not, not obviously not close to terrible. Uh, and this guy unsurprisingly is much more at 4.83 ounces. Am I crazy? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to be pretty much it for today. Definitely a cool design. I'm glad they gave me three. Obviously, you guys know what I do with a lot of this stuff. I, you know, do giveaways. So, um, this will make for an excellent, actually all three of them will make for excellent giveaway knives once I have finished the reviews. Uh, this model, I'm not going to review all the different colors, but I will review the model a few weeks down the road from now. And of course, this guy, I'll review it since it is a new, my, even though it's a design that I've looked at before, it is being made by Kaiser, right? And probably has a couple of small differences. So still want to go over it. But that's really, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, these knives will be linked down in the description. You can check them out if you want. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.